Hello, this is Swati Mari and I am going to discuss today, given a problem, how to design a solution intelligent architecture for the same. The learning objectives at the end of this video are, break the given problem into various subcomponents, analyze the problem components and map them with the building blocks of the agent architecture and then finally, detail every blocks content to give a good solution for the problem in hand. The prerequisites for this are, the piece, performance A, Envi performance element, environment, actuators and sensors, the properties of task environment and intelligent agent architectures. As you may know, there are various intelligent agent architectures. The first one not so intelligent is table driven architecture, simple reflex, model based, simple reflex, model based, coal based, model based, utility based agent architecture. And as we move from table driven to utility based, the level of sophistication, complexity and the efficiency and performance of the intelligent agent goes on improving. So let us take a problem segment. So design an agent architecture for a pro kabaddi referee, wherein the referee is supposed to be on the field during match. Announce the points as and when the team wins the same. Give punishment cards to the players on misconduct and act as an interface between the TV umpire and the teams whenever the teams ask for reviews. The number of reviews per team are limited and the count will be kept by the referee. And we are assuming that the scoreboard will be maintained by another team and the scoreboard will be easily readable for the viewers and the referee. So, the best agent architecture for this particular problem is model based simple reflex agent. Why would be a question for another video. So over here, the sensors do not give the complete information about the world in one percept. So we need to maintain an internal state which gives us information about two things. That is how the world evolves without the agent and how the agent's action affect the world. Here goes the basic algorithm for the simple reflex based model based agent wherein the percept and the earlier state gives us the current state. The states are matched with the rules to get the exact rule applicated, applicable with the situation. The rule gives us the action and the agent performs the action on the entire world, sorry, environment and then we get the next state. So here goes the building blocks for the model based simple reflex agent. Here goes the environment which is independent or external to the agent. The agent perceives the environment through the sensors. Then the internal state and how the world is like right now, they maintain the internal state. Also, how the world evolves, that is base knowledge base and what my actions do, all these three things in combination gives what the world is like right now. Then onwards, based on the condition action rules and the what the world is like right now, the agent architecture decides what action it should do right now and those actions are performed by the actuators on the environment. So for the given problem of the referee, let us see what would be the contents of each and every block for this particular problem. First of all, we start with an environment. So what are elements of environment and out of them, which elements the referee should deal with. So here the elements of the environment could be the stadium, the judges, the viewers, the field, the teams, etc. But over here, if you go through the problem definition, referee should deal with only the playing field, the teams, the scoreboard and TV umpire. So these are the elements of the environment. Those are applicable for this referee as an agent. The next part of the agent architecture is sensors, wherein this particular agent requires viewing sensors and hearing sensors. So the problem definition would limit what the referee should see and what the referee should hear. So over here the referee should see only the part wherein the team members are gaining a point, they are making any misconduct or the scoreboard and all those things. Going ahead after the sensors is the state that we have to refer to. The state defines what the, how the world evolves independent of the agent and how the agent's action affect the world. So in this case, rules, timers and timeouts, players, how do they should play 
and gain the points, misconduct and sledging. These are everything they happen without the agent and agent's effects. While punishments, announcements and reviews are the part in which the agent will have its own contribution. Then comes to the part wherein one has to decide or understand how the world evolves. So this is basically the rules based knowledge base or the major part of the agent architecture that the designer has to deal with. So the rules could be the toss rules, the kabaddi chart which has to be there, the number of players on each side, the rules of substitutions, the definitions for being out and not out, definition of the raid, rules of the raid and all these things will play a part in this. The timers and timeouts, the strategic timeouts, the different timeouts are there. So all those will be defined in this case. How the players play and gain their points. So when the players pay, they get bonus sometimes. How do you define super tackle? How do you define match points? How do you define when the entire opponent team gets out of the field and the other team gets all out points? Misconduct here in this case. What are the various types of misconducts? What are their relative severities? And accordingly, which card should be given? Then, in case of sledging, should the agent pay uh, part or pay attention to the sledging and accordingly give the um, punishment cards and something should be different in the problem definition itself. Then going ahead, it's what my actions do. For that, one has to define what actuators the agent has got. Basically, agent will require speaking actuators to converse with the TV umpire and also to announce the points in case or call out any player's name. Then hand actuators or the screen to show the card color. The action should be declare a point, give a card, call TV umpire and press alarm in case of unfairness. The next part in this case is going to be what the world is like right now. So but this particular blog gives facts about the current world and is a combination of previous history due to the internal state, knowledge of how the world operates and how what effect agent's action can be on the environment. So let us consider an example. A player X has been caught by two defenders but has touched the central line. So basically the player is not will not be declared as an out but the player kicks the defender in face, thereby injuring him. So this particular thing is should be considered. This is the fact of the current status. So the agent is supposed to take into consideration the internal state, the knowledge of how the world operates. So serious injuries are misconduct. And when the player is not in out position and still the player kicks, that means it is deliberately done activity. So what effect the agent's action can be on environment. So the agent is bringing in discipline on the environment where the discipline has to be defined in the performance measure. Going ahead, the next block is going to be condition action rules. So here are some example condition action rules. So one of them says that when touched defender, touched a defender while chanting kabaddi, kabaddi and back in the home field, so the defender is out. Or the player is given a red card. This is the condition and the action is player is banned from the playing the current batch. This is the action rule. Then third example is redder is caught by last three defenders remained in the field. So that means it's a super tackle and they get some extra points. And whenever there is a serious misconduct as an action, the rule is going to be red card should be given to the player. Going ahead. The final part, what my what actions I should do now. So based on the performance element, choose the applicable best action from the condition action rule and perform. As the definition of the rational agent says, given what it knows, it should come up with the best possible answer. So as this agent is going to be a rational one, it has to choose the best possible action from the given set of action condition rule. Then secondly, the performed action will have effect on the environment which will again be perceived through the sensors. So this way environment and agent remain in harmony and agent's knowledge about the model could maintain it the way it should be. 
थैंक यू